Hi, I'm Bruce Dorn. I'm a Canon Explorer of Life. When I'm not working for Canon as a lecturer, teacher, or beta tester, I'm a filmmaker and photographer. I've been a member of the Directors Guild since 1984. I've done over a thousand national and international television spots, and my specialty is special effects and beautiful imagery. I'm all about the light. I skipped over all the previous generations of video cameras. When this came along, I put down my Panavision and picked up a nice little tool. This, these things are capable of some incredible filmmaking techniques, not in the least because they are highly manual tools. I'm going to give you tips about how to optimize these cameras using manual controls. So this is capable of making incredible motion picture footage that looks just like it was made with a movie camera if you follow a few simple rules. Manual exposure, manual control of your white balance, and pay close attention to the picture styles. Picture styles are accessible through the menus in the camera, and you want to go from standard picture style to neutral picture style. This will give you the best performance from your sensor. You also want to control your exposure manually. You want to try to use a shutter speed that is twice your frame rate. If you're shooting at 24 frames per second, let your baseline shutter speed be 1 50th. If you're shooting at 30 frames per second, let your baseline shutter speed be 1 60th. That'll give you the most filmic look. Don't use auto white balance. Use the Kelvin or preset controls. If you want to cancel out the look of a beautiful sunset, use auto white balance. If you want to show the beauty of a beautiful sunset, set your camera to 5200 Kelvin and you'll get all the colors of sunset. Shutter speeds, color balance, and finally picture style. Neutral picture style will give you the best performance. Check that out. If your camera has adjustable intensity or automatic intensity on the LCD, set your LCD to manual. Otherwise, your LCD will vary in intensity and it'll fool you in terms of judging your exposure. When you're shooting a movie clip, always try to adjust your exposure for the brightest part of the scene, the most important part of the scene. When you pan from a dark area into a bright area, you don't want auto controls taking over. You want to establish the exposure for the most important part of the scene. Let that be where the camera lives. A few simple tips to make an HDSLR perform like a real movie camera. 